Okay, in this episode, we are going to make... Well, I already typed it all out, but... Uh, <laughs> we're going to make an improved version of the quadratic equation program we made earlier. This time, we know about if statements, so we're going to use that knowledge to evaluate the expression under the radical to see or whether or not it's positive or negative. If it is negative, we're going to tell the user, hey, your inputs are producing an unreal answer, an unreal root. And that would be cool if you wanted to work with non-real numbers, but in this situation, what we're doing right now, I think it's probably best if we stick to real numbers. So that's why this program is a little bit improved, because we're using our, our knowledge of if statements and conditions to evaluate uh, the, ra uh, the expression of the radical. I think it's called the radicand but we're going to uh, evaluate the radicand. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But And then we're going to use that knowledge to prohibit the user from entering values for A, B, and C that will make it not real, imaginary. So actually, I already typed it all out. I tried to copy as best I could from the previous program all, all this preliminary stuff. But this is the new code. This is what you really need to focus on. So I have an if statement. And it evaluates this condition. First, we have the block, a block here. And this block of code is just, it's the expression under the square root symbol in the quadratic equation. And it evaluates it right here. And then it checks to see if th that evaluation is greater than or equal to 0. Because if it is, we can work, we, we can work with it. The square root is real. Um, so here's the expressions, or the, the lines of code that evaluate the entire quadratic equation, you know, given given your a, b, and c, which are, by the way, input inputted input up here, and then if this expression, this little block of code, is less than zero, in other words, not greater than or equal to zero. If it's less than zero, it executes the else, which does a C out statement. Your inputs produce an unreal zero and then return zero. This return zero is the same return zero as here. If we do go to the else statement, it will execute this and then it will terminate the program because I put return zero here. Uh, and because it's, I put it here, if we go to the else statement and it, and it executes this return, it won't print out this uh, block of code because this is outside of the if block. So that makes it kind of useful. So we're going to test it. Run. Build it successfully. So let's put in values for a, b, and c that'll make give us a non-real answer. So a, and that means uh, we're subtracting from b squared under the radical, and that means a and c should be relatively high. So a will be 3, b will be 1, and c will be 2. Oh good, your inputs produce an unreal zero. That's exactly what we want. So let's run again. And let's let's do an easy one. So let's let A be 1, B be 2, and C negative 3. Now this should give us the roots 1 and negative 3. Yes. So good, when B is added to your root, uh, to the root, your zero is 1. When the root is subtracted from B, your zero, your zero is negative three. Excellent. So this is a, the modified quadratic equation program.